the Rockcat ELO 7.1 Air. So these are designed primarily, if not exclusively, for PC. Um, and it'll be interesting because these actually do are not as expensive as the console ones, but um, but this is their top of the line. So I'm curious how these compare, audio-wise and otherwise, with their uh, console lines. got stellar wireless, exceptional signal and strength, and long life battery power. It's uh, got the cool Rockat logo, uh, USB-C type charging cable, the 2.5 or 2.4 gigahertz adapter. Uh, let's see, linear controls, detachable mic, rotating hinges, self-adjusting headband, which is a different style. That's cool. Uh, let's see what it's got. Glasses friendly design, 24 hour um, batteries, uh, one week it says, of, of approximate playtime. Uh, and super human, super human hearing with a 7.1 surround. And let's see if there's anything else in this story. Oh, it's the Rockcat story. It tells the story of, of uh, how Rockcat became what they are today. More technical specs on the bottom. Direct wireless connection via USB A transmitter, 2020K speaker frequency, 2.4 gigahertz C2C or transmitter, uh, audio controls, and rechargeable battery. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, pop this open. All right. Okay, all right. Oh, this also supports AMO Intelligent Lighting Engine, which I'm presuming works with Rockcat's mouse and keyboards. All right, so there is that. We've got the little dongle, the Rockcat dongle right here. Very similar to the one in Turtle Beach, so I'm sure it's different electrically. We've got a very small, a 2.5 millimeter probably, a plug for the microphone. Uh, we've got the USB-C cable and the headset itself. So this has a different kind of pad. Um, leather without the gel like the uh, Turtle Beach has. Uh, it's got, I can remove these little stickers. There you go guys, you got to see it. Live on camera. Everybody loves doing that. This side too. There it is. So this has, this microphone goes right here. Uh, there is no 3.5 millimeter jack. It has a power, a mute button, chat and regular audio volume. And uh, let's see how these feel on my head. I do like this kind of strap. Um, that, oh, I find that to be very comfortable. All right, let's see how these fit. Okay, so they fit my large noggin just fine. Um, they do barely fit around my ears because I do have large ears. But uh, yeah, all right. They seem like they should be pretty comfortable. Unfortunately, not 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm not gonna be able to test them like right now. But um, yeah, all right. So I will definitely give these all a fair uh, evaluation, and I will let you know what I think in the reviews of each one. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Take care and God bless.